Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, before you continue to watch this video, just try and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this Microsoft Intune training, I'm going to show you how to build your own lab. So to be able to follow up on any training or this, or this particular training, you will need to have your own lab environment. So because without a lab environment, you will only be able to follow up with the theoretical part of the training. And it is a lab environment or the practical environment you which in which you learn by actually following up and doing exactly the same thing what I, of what I'm doing that will make you to gain some experience. So what do you actually need to build your lab environment? First of all, you will need to actually um, create an Office 365 um, trial account or you have the option to create an E3, E3 account or an E5 account. But the E5 account actually, which of course is valid for one month, so I prefer to actually just use the free trial of the E5 account. So you can actually buy it right now, which costs, which is very expensive. It costs uh, for if just a particular user, it costs about five thirty-five dollar a month. But you can actually just click on the free trial button to start your free free trial. You can see I, I already have a free trial account, so I will not be able to register for this free trial anymore. So when you register for your free trial account and you log on to Microsoft Office or office.com you will actually get to this browser here so as you can see we have the option to actually open outlook word excel and as well sharepoint and teams but what, are, what we're actually interested on as an administrator is the admin here when you click on the admin it takes you automatically to a new browser which of course you have the option to actually do a lot of things from this on the admin center so what you also need again is when I click on show all here, you can see that um, I already have the option. Let me just go to my um, settings here and I go to domains and you can see I already purchased this, I purchased this domain, which I'm using right now as my default. But when you registered for a free trial of Office 365, it gives you this on Microsoft.com. So you can, if you have a domain which you've registered, which you are the owner of that domain, because you need to verify that you are the owner of the domain, you will actually need to prove yourself. And if you if you be able to prove that you are the owner of that domain, you should be able to use that domain as your default domain. So if I go to my users here, one of my active users, you can see that I've already created some users on this with this domain called the privyictless.be. And you can see that I have the option to actually assign Office 365 E5 to the users. I think when you create an account with um, where a trial account, you have the option to actually assign a 25 license. You'll be given 25 license to be um, to, to use for your trial account. So what you also also need, if you want to actually um, go into the in, uh, deep in practical, you also need a domain controller. Uh, and also, you also need some workstation to actually enroll devices and probably an Android device and iOS, like uh, a mobile device as well. So what I'm going to do here right now is I'm going to I've already created some virtual machine which I'll be using for this training. And here you can see I have my domain controller, which I'm going to use to actually, uh, which will be my primary domain control controller. But if you are working in a corporate corporate environment, you will definitely have like multiple domain controller, which one will be your primary and the other one will be your secondary domain controller. And you can see here, I have my, the. I'm going to use this one as my Azure um, Connect, which of course, if I install the Azure Connect, you should be able to actually sync my on-premises and the cloud together so that all my devices which are enrolled on-premises will be synced to the cloud. So I'll be, I'll be using this one as my Azure um, at the uh, Active Directory uh, Federation service. As you can see here, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six Windows 10 operating system I'll be using to for this training as well. So the first three um, Windows 10 will be my devices which I'll be using for the on-premises device which will be joined to my domain controller. And the second, the fourth and the fifth Windows 10 operating system will actually be used for to be actually um personal device which means user um, um 
users who, who are using this device as their personal device should be able to enroll this device to Microsoft Intune as well. And, this, and the last one, which is the sixth one, we'll be using this to do the autopilot configuration. And I'm going to show you how to actually configure autopilot if, for example, you want to be installing devices automatically to Microsoft Intune and be able to manage those devices when they are being installed. So if you think you don't have um, like a, I have a Windows, um, I have a, a physical server I'm using, which of course has a lot of memory with, uh, in it, and I also have some external hard disk, which I have more than I think in total I have about six uh, terabytes of external hard disk, which are also inserted into my physical um, server. So let me just go to, let me just try to open, show you something here. And okay, so if I go to my system information, you can see that I'm using this Prolant, the Prolant DL380G7 server. And you can see on the server, I have a physical memory of about 64 gigabytes. So now it's 4 gigabyte right now, so I can install different virtual machines. Like for example, my Windows 10 doesn't take more than 2 gigabytes, and my server, I can as well just assign like 2 or 4 gigabytes to my Windows server. So if, for example, you think you have a, um, you have a laptop or you have a desktop um, system, uh, desktop computer you can as well use, you can decide to install like the VMware player on that desktop computer and it's, it build your, um, your virtual environment. Or you can use the VMware workstation, which I'm using right now um, as well. You can use the VMware workstation to build your um, virtual environment. Or you can use the Hyper-V from Microsoft as well to build your virtual environment so there are still some other virtual environment which you can use but anyone that fits your own um fit, that you think you are, you are good in you can as well use it to actually install your domain controller and your workstation to be able to follow up with this training okay so right now let me just close my virtual machine and go back again to my office 365 so mind you when you create um a user from Office 365, it does not automatically sync to your um, domain controller or to your on-premises environment because you will need to have your Azure um, Active Directory Connect installed on your on-premises um, devices for everything to be syncing. Like for example, all your your on-premises users, your devices on-premises will be able to sync to Office 365. So that is going to be actually a different video which I'm going to do. I'm going I'm, I'm going to be doing different videos. On just show some short, short video on this um, um, on training on of uh, Microsoft Intune. So please just try and follow up on this. Um, check out check out my first video on how to actually register Office 365. What you actually need to be able to follow up on all the other training. So right now our next video is going to be on the introduction to Microsoft Endpoints Manager. So I'm going to explain in details about the Microsoft Intune, why Microsoft decided to move from Microsoft Intune to the, um, if you if you go to the web browser, you try to t type in Microsoft Intune. Right now Microsoft has changed it to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So I'm going to explain more in details about that. So if you've not watched my first video, on Microsoft Intune overview of what is a Microsoft Intune, how can you use my what's why should, should you should um, you should actually be using Microsoft Intune to manage your your on-premises device, your personal device, and all your corporate um, mobile device, iOS, Android. So just try and click on the video um, above to watch that video. So you can actually click on the video below to watch my third video. If you go, I'm going to put a link on this video, uh, on this particular video, so that you can actually click on the third video as well easily. So please, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. And I hope this video has been a great help to you. And also, please try and leave a comment below and also send me, send me an email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.